Hey looking guys, today I'm going to be showing, well, I'm organizing my collection. Yeah, I figured, why not do it on YouTube, I was going to just do it on a, an average Friday night. <laughs> Half the kids are gone, so, uh, got some bags and boards here. Get these out of the way. But, two months ago, I ended up organizing my collection into like, DC, um, what else? Marvel, Silver Age, Marvel and DC, <laughs> Independent, Independent Horror, uh, Marvel Horror mixed in, a bunch of stuff. So I got everything separated the way I really want it. Now this this is the time. I'm just going through. I'm going to look through some of this stuff. I'm going to say, stay or go. <laughs> uh, but I got a, I got an old box here. I had to use, a, I was getting every any old box. This is like a, one of those boxes where... Uh, <laughs> baby wipes come in so I put everything in here for right now because I was trying to keep everything separated now I got my comic box here we're gonna just start organizing so yeah this is just an old box this is gonna go gotta find a place for this real quick and what I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna go through them look at them a little bit see if I'm gonna keep them I'll put them in my I'll take the lid off this box here and I'm just going to organize, you know, get to see. Uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm organizing, this is going to be my first run through uh, my collection. I got probably about <laughs> close to 40 boxes. I'm not, Of course, I'm not going to do this with my Batman collection, my Green Lantern collection, my Daredevil runs, anything like that. Um, basically, I'm just going through stuff that I have one ofs, uh, maybe a small run of. Uh, but this is basically independent. Um, there might be some image in here, Dark Horse, different kind of stuff. Uh, I have two boxes of these, but this is box number one of that. <laughs> so let's uh, we'll just go through this. And I'm not sure how long this video is going to take. And if I cut off or anything, tune in for part two because I'll just pick up where I left off. <laughs> I'm not, I try to clear up everything off my camera for my phone. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to grab a stack here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so these are, first off, it's going to be really tough for me to get rid of stuff because uh, I buy stuff that I like. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be tough, but of course, I'm keep definitely keeping this. I'm just going to get new bag for this. Of course, it's uh, Frank Miller's Ronin. Not the best looking condition. I think I paid 25 cents for each of those. And I'll show you the next one. Let me just get a new bag for that. Should have uh, peeled these backing boards off real quick first. There we go. Let's keep these backing boards up here. But yeah, I'm a huge Frank Miller fan. I, you know, you you couldn't tell, but this is this has been read quite a few times. And I'm a big fan of this series. Just, just looking at the artwork. I mean, Frank Miller, man, you can't beat that. So it's definitely staying in the old collection. I should have probably live streamed this. That's what I should have probably did. I never live streamed, so I don't know what the hell it even entails. I'll probably be more distracted by comments and stuff like that. All right, so this is definitely get, staying in the collection. It's by DC, so it's got to go in my DC collection. I'm already lying here. Not even the first book in. <laughs> so I must have threw these in because my DC stuff was uh, piling up. So I got to put this off to the side. It's not even going in the box. Man, this is starting off great. So. But yeah, I also got, that's, that's book five, and this is book four. Yeah, again, I just bought these. 25 centers. Just craziness in this book. <laughs> this is one of those deals where I had it for so long. I I read it. I probably bought it oh, at least four. Yeah, it has to be longer than that. Seven or eight years ago now. I think it was one of my... Uh, but it took me forever to get find issue six. And if you find it, it's, it's pretty... Uh, it's a pretty... Hard book to find. Mine's a little bit messed up, even messed more messed up than these ones. But yeah, these are gonna stay in my collection just because I have very little invested in them and I enjoy the story. 
So these are gonna not going in the uh, independent box. If there's any more of these, I'm gonna skip them. Yeah, I got one. Yeah, yeah, I'll skip that one. So. Uh, Alien Three. I believe this was yeah, this was the unproduced screenplay, as you can see. I ended up just buying the first issue. I'm not. I enjoy the first Aliens Dark Horse run, but I might have to give this another shot, but right now it's not going in my to keep pile. <laughs> so I'm going to just put that up here. Uh, the Simpsons. I believe this is the first appearance of the Simpsons and Simpsons and Simpsons and comics. So I'll definitely keep this. Uh, I want to get the one with the Fantastic Four homage to it, to issue one. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Cerebus. I'm collecting this in trade right now. I think I bought this. This is issue. Um, this is. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is issue 49. But I, was, I couldn't remember if this is the weekly part, but I think it's the original. But the reason I always kept this one, I always love this scene right here. Let me see if I can show it. There you go. So you're reading it here. That it's one of those books where you got to twist around. And I remember buying this because, uh, you can see the whole page here. Because I remember reading this a long time ago. And uh, it was, what was it, Batman, New 52, issue 5, I believe it was. Yeah. They had a sort of a sequence where you had to turn the book around and everything like that. Again, I'm buying this, uh, collecting the trades now. Of Cerebus, so this is going to go in my get rid of pile for right now. Uh, Cyber Frog issue one. Probably just going to keep this. I'm not sure whatever happened to that guy that did this book, but. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely keep this one. I enjoyed it, I think it's a good story. there i think that's the only cyber frog book i own i know it's a, he's um it's big on youtube uh, the channel and stuff hellboy definitely keep this the bride of hell yeah mike mignola mm, i love his artwork so i just gotta put this in alphabetical i'm putting these in alphabetical order too as i'm going along uh, Bat Babe. I, this was just a straight up cover by. I'm not sure if I ever read this. Let's take a look inside. But this is an Adam Hughes cover. That's the whole reason why I bought it. It caught my eye. But I don't think it caught my eye enough to just uh, to read it. <laughs> Let's take a look. This might be uh, putting a pile to, for later. Yeah, it's got that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I sort of remember this. I think I actually did read this. But that's a Killing Joe homage there. But yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see who uh, who did the artwork and stuff in here. Yeah, I might keep it. I'm gonna. Yeah, this is from 1993, so yeah, I'm gonna keep it. It's a keeper. I'm going to read it though. So once I finally get, it's making the first round. So maybe next time when I go through these, again, it won't be on camera, of course, because I'm not going to show the same stuff. <laughs> well, I guess if you've been watching my channel for a long time, I mean, the goon, I always keep Eric Powell stuff. I always, I'm a huge fan of his. Uh, I guess this was a spoof on the, uh, yeah, this was. <laughs> Introducing the multicolored goons from uh, the Green Lantern, the mid two uh, thousands, two teens. But yeah, we'll definitely keep the goon. Got another goon book. Yeah, this is like from this newest series. Yeah, I've been buying some of the older stuff, the older goon stuff in trade paperback because a lot. Of, I'm finding a lot pretty damn cheap, so. I keep uh keep an eye out for that. Okay, that's the set series after that one. There we go. 
Ah uh, yes, I'll put show these both at the same time. <laughs> I picked these up for a quarter each. Uh, they're just reprints of Captain Adam from the Silver Age. I forget which one. Let me see. I believe it's yeah. I believe it's this one right here. It's the the the. Oh man, what's a blue beetle's name? No, it was I can't remember right now, but it come, might come to me as we're going along here. <laughs> But it was the uh, first appearance of him. It was a reprint, so picked it up. They were like, yeah, I think I paid twenty five cents for it. It was like one of them big time sales. Oh, need a new stack already. Some of these are those comic fest ones that dollar or uh, free comic book day ones. Um, this is Danger Doll and Miguel Lives. I know Rags likes this kind of stuff. So I was whenever I picked this stuff up, I was like always like uh, think of him because he's a huge fan of uh, Mendoza there. But I think this is one's gonna go into the uh, for sale pile or get rid of me pile. <laughs> Not sure if I'm gonna sell it for anything, but uh, this one I'm gonna keep the Dollface issue eight. Uh, this is a Mendoza cover. Uh, another Mr. Rigamortis. I was picking. I was going through that, and I think I find this for a quarter. So if it's like, yeah, I'm gonna buy. It. I read it. It's pretty crazy. Of course, it's like the middle of the storyline, but. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Definitely gonna stay in my uh, collection here. For now, yeah. <laughs> Eventually, I'm gonna have to get rid of some all these books. But yeah, I'm glad you guys are. Whoever's sticking through this, uh, watching. Uh, glad you're sticking through. Just doing a bunch of different stuff. Like I said, these are independent books. First, the first couple I was showing everybody, uh, it was DC, of course. I <laughs> should have known that right away. But uh, next one is uh, Tim Scioli's uh, Go Bots. I'm definitely keeping this. Pittsburgh guy. So, but if you've never seen the inside of this. He did a Fantastic Four book, I believe. Was it? Yeah, 2019. So definitely uh, pick that up. I mean, it was a Fantastic Four Grand Design. But uh, of course I got to support Pittsburgh. <laughs> I'd be running out of time if I wasn't supporting it. Uh, next up is Fubar. The Summer Special. I believe this is another quarter, but I think this is like a whole quarter run. <laughs> I'm going to take a look in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one or not. Um, I read it so long ago. Yeah. I remember now. Yeah, I'm going to put this one in the get rid of me pile here. I want to say get rid of me. I'm going to say... Uh, Staying and going. Should I stay or should I go now? <laughs> Alrighty. Next up is this 100 page max. 100 pages of the max. Bought this I think last year it came out. But it's uh, reprints the first first and second issue then the issue 23 and is that here? Uh, just uh, issue 23. This is a series I think I want to get collect the whole run of I know I have the first issue I mean it probably been cheaper for me to find the uh, <laughs> the actual singles than uh, buy this but yeah I like to support the uh, artists that I like and I'm a huge fan of Sam Keith so uh, well I shouldn't probably shouldn't say a huge fan because I would probably had all these issues already but I enjoyed his Marvel Comics Presents uh, those are some of the great books that, you know he had some excellent covers on them books and I remember when the Max first came out, I, I had the first couple issues, and it was one of them deals where, you know, I think I started getting a, I had a girlfriend at the time, and that was, uh, <laughs> and 
unfortunately the time uh, the Max was coming out. <laughs> I remember the HBO show too. Uh, it's been so long since I've seen that. Yeah, I think it was HBO that did it. Um, yeah, I definitely want to check that out again. But this is a keeper for right now. Maybe when I uh, get to finish the run, I'll probably just get rid of this. But yeah, I paid the... It was, it was a decent price, you know, five bucks for a hundred pages, you know. We'll definitely throw that in here. Okay, Love and Rockets, issue number one. I believe it's from the, yeah, it's the second, obviously, the second volume. Not the magazine size. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely keeping this. I've been buying some of the older stuff. The uh, magazine stuff. I, I think that's what they're called, the magazine um, size. No, I, it's not your computer cutting out. It's me just digging for uh, more back, backing boards. I thought I had a lot more of these boarded up. There we go. Looks a lot better. And as you can see, I bag and board some stuff. Uh, some stuff I don't at first because I want to make sure I'm going to keep it in my collection. I know it's uh, <laughs> not the greatest way of doing it, but it ends up uh, stuff I already know I'm going to keep. And, you know, if it's, of course, the key or something like that, of course, I'll put, uh, put it in a bag and board. But if it's, um, if it's a 25-cent job, <laughs> like these next couple coming up, so it's the uh, the gingerbread man issues two and three. I think I got issue one somewhere. It might be in this box. I'm not sure. But this is yeah, <laughs> this is just nuts, man. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Oh great, this is a family show. <laughs> Let's find a better page. <laughs> there you go. Again, it's one of the things I read. Great. Uh, I'll probably never read it again. So it's going in my uh, go pile. So this was from Oni Press, Dead of Winter. I remember wanting to read this. I thought, oh, okay, cool, another uh, another Walking Dead type book. I mean, you know, obviously my name of my channel. <laughs> you can tell I'm into you know, horror stuff, even though it's, everything's been done to death by now, but no pun intended. But <laughs> Should have thought a little bit harder on my name, but I'm keeping it, god damn it. But, uh... I remember reading this and I was like, oh, it's great. I mean, I thought the dog was pretty cool. Crypto. <laughs> but then, yeah, I, mean, I just saw stuff like this. I mean, just like, I thought, yeah, I was like, I'm going to skip it. So this one's definitely going into the go pile. Ah, uh, here we go. Street Angel, issue five. I believe that's the first appearance of Aphrodisiac. Uh, definitely keeping that. Yeah, another Pittsburgh <laughs> connection. Yeah, I know Action Labs Pittsburgh connection too, but can't keep them all. <laughs> but yeah, this is an awesome book. Um, uh, Jim Rugg has a. Uh, actually supported his Kickstarter earlier today. Um, it looks pretty cool, so if you get time, to check it out. You know, just type in his name, and but definitely uh, keeping this. I got this in a collected version too. I got a lot of uh, different versions of. Um, well, I think I got two different versions of the uh, collected version. One's a, like a blue ink, and the other one's a black ink. So yeah, I, I gotta remember that. <laughs> yeah, I got. I may I'll show. May I'll put them on Instagram or something like that, so you guys can see what I'm actually talking about. But. Uh, when he did, when Jim did a collected version of this, he did one in like blue ink, and the other one's in black ink. And I bought both. <laughs> uh, yeah, this was another 25 center. 
Samurai the 13th. Definitely just keep this. Uh, just there you go. The body count continues <laughs> as the villain in the hockey mask <laughs> cuts it loose again. But who is it? Who? Who? Yeah, I'll definitely keep that. I enjoyed it. Got a lot of S's in here, man. Another series that I'm a huge fan of is uh, Captain Harlock. I got pretty much, I think almost all these. They're just scattered in with this collection. So this is another reason why I'm uh, <laughs> going through this stuff. So I got uh, everything uh, in one alphabetical order, easy to find. So, but yeah, huge fan of Ben Dunn's work. Uh, Captain Harlock what turned me on to that was, you know, I'm a dancing fan. Um, so remember from the Misfits days, you've probably seen that shirt a hundred thousand times. Definitely a keeper. Uh, this one might be a tough one. The Three Stooges. Huge fan of the show. Not so much of the comic, so. Yeah, this is going in uh, the to go pile. Uh, number one, Masks. Francavelli. And Alex Ross did the interiors, if I remember. Yeah. The painted. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping this. I bet you've been buying the uh, the Immortal Hulk. Uh, Alex Ross doing all the covers. Some sick covers in that that run. Uh, it's also a good read too. Uh, remember reading this a couple years ago? I liked it, but basically I'm gonna keep this just for the artwork. The heroes in here, you know, got the Shadow, Zorro, Green Hornet, Kato. It's nice actually looking through some of these artists. I'm gonna, as soon as I'm done with this uh, <laughs> video, I might uh, un, you know, unbag them and read them because I haven't read them in so long. It's just like, it's all new stuff to me. It's perfect timing too because. Uh, with all the stuff going on, you can't really go to any shops. And they, find, they a lot of the shops around the Pittsburgh area have uh, selected hours today, uh, which is Friday, I believe it's the fifteenth today, May. <laughs> uh, here we go. This is badass. Some Slayer. Remember, I was trying to find this. this there's a couple different covers. This is the cover I wanted, but it was, looks like it's pretty, uh, yeah, it was pretty chewed up. It's, uh, rejected by the, <laughs> the comics of the Code Authority. Yeah, but you can see there. Just a huge fan of the band. There you go. So, definitely keeping this. Cruising right along. Next up is issue two of Spicy Tales. This is uh some yeah some pre-code stuff. So definitely keeping this. A lot of this stuff's hard to find, especially like some of this uh more racier stuff. And see if I can. What the hell is this in the back? Oh yeah. Let me see. Yeah, you can see it just probably the reason why uh, yeah. <laughs> they were burning comics back in the day. Again, if this video goes out, sorry guys, but uh, I like I said, I'm not sure how much space I got on here, but if it is, I'll stop, I'll upload it, then I'll put part two in tomorrow. But I'm hoping to get through at least half this box because I'm making pretty good time in here. Just <laughs> not in the best condition, but hey, we'll keep it. I 
wish I had a better camera over so you could actually just see me bowing these away and stuff, but you have to take my bite or take my <laughs> my word. Uh, so this is the 25th of the anniversary. Definitely keeping this. Hellboy, Seed of Destruction. I, believe, I already have the trade for that. I don't have the issues of that, but. Now I'm trying to think of a title for this video, so I'm thinking about maybe Stay or Go, Organize, or organize the Collection, Organizing the Collection, Stay or Go, question mark, or Stay or Go, Organizing the Collection, so I don't know. I'll have to make a decision, because I got, like I said, I got 20 more boxes to go through. I might even try a live version of this, but I'm not sure exactly how that works or anything. So I might have to mess around with my other channel. <laughs> and uh, so I'll make a full out of myself. Just making sure we're still rocking here. Uh, this was basically a cover by Jenny Friesen cover. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it. What the hell? You survived the first round, Redstone. <laughs> Will you make it the second round to be determined? Uh, Strange Days from Eclipse Comics. Huge fan of the character in here, Johnny Nemo. So definitely keeping this. Uh, he had um, his own series. It was supposed to be a six-parter. They only did three issues. So I'm not sure if they ended up. I'll have to do a little bit more research. There you go. There. We thought this dude was a badass back in the day. That's, yeah, he's pretty cool. But he was a yeah. The late 80s, when this come out, 84, <laughs> like I said, early to late 80s, <laughs> uh, you know, street justice van vigilantes were all the rage back in, uh, and he's just another one, but in London, so yeah, if you can find the copies, you should be able to find, find them for 25 cents, it's just, you know, it's made for 14 year old boys, which is exactly, well, I was a little bit younger than that, but <laughs> it was marketed to us, which I don't know. I think a lot of comics, you know, today, that's the, we should be, it should be pretty much, at least the majority of just thinking about, you know, 14 year olds, that mindset. Because a lot of those, you know, growing up, a lot of those comics were aimed toward us. Then you, you can always have the other comics too. But I mean, I, you know, Spider Man, yeah, you know, Batman, it should all be aimed towards fourteen year olds. <laughs> Getting deep into psychology, psychology, and you know, all this nonsense. There you go. So this is X Files. This is a <laughs> a special numbered edition of this. <laughs> they sold so many of these damn books back in the day. But this is number 35,091 of 120,000. So there's probably warehouses, you know, pallets full of these somewhere. But it's the first three issues. I never opened it up. I probably should have opened it up. But I've never had the, the desire to read it. I'm probably going to keep it in my collection for right now. Because I'm probably just going to end up opening it and reading it. <laughs> but I was like looking. I was like, oh yeah, Charlie Earl Adlard uh, drew this book. So that's... That might be worth checking out just for itself, so maybe I'll do an unpackaging or whatever. So we'll put X Files in the back here. Uh, here's another. This is issue three of Strange Days. See my it's like an anthology. There you go. <laughs> the Pride of London. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely got. To, I gotta get a better copy though, because this one's uh, this was a twenty-five center, but you can see it's uh, figgy fugged. Alright, put this in here. 
I got this box probably about a quarter way filled up. Let's see what we got here. I need some. I need some of this stuff to go, man. I'm keeping too much of this. Uh, the road to 100. This is a freebie. Uh, I don't know even why I took this. Or wait, I think it was put in my bag, and when I got home, it was uh, one of them deals where they pre-filled a bag up. <laughs> so that's getting out of here. Yeah, as I'm going along here, as in my collecting career, over you know, I'm going into my you know, 31st year of collecting comics. Um, I'm noticing stuff like free stuff. I really don't want it anymore. I don't want any previews. I don't want any of that stuff. I, it's just too much. <laughs> uh, here's another one I'm going to keep, but I'll just show you. The Texas Chainsaw Samurai. Another spoof book here. So we'll put that back here. I'm not sure how many issues it, but I got issues one and two. Or do I, yeah, one and two. So I'll have to look it up and see how many, if there's another one. I can't remember. If, it's one of them books I bought you know, the past decade. Uh, Snot Girl. I'm not sure why the hell I even bought this. I was just checking it out. And I was like, eh. I'm not sure. I'm debating on this. It might, it's going to survive this round. Should I keep this or get rid of it? Or put it in the to-go pile? <laughs> Let me know down below. What was your opinion of Snot Girl? As of right now, it's going to stay in there. This is going to stay also. It's the free comic book day. Again, I don't really keep free comic book day stuff. I don't even get free comic book day stuff. Except for, you know, stuff like this. If something's really cool, I'll, you know, get, of course. But, uh, you know, I try to keep it down to, like, a four-book minimum. <laughs> I just don't, just do not want it in my, uh, any of that stuff in my collection. Unless it's, you know, like I said, something cool. Like a black-and-white Archie variant. Uh, the Afterlife with Archie. They did a couple of those. They did a couple of Sabrinas. Um, so if you're familiar with those. Uh pick those up but it's just like when i think i got a few more in here too so let's see what we got graphic elvis huge elvis fan <laughs> so he knows it's staying i can't remember what this was oh yeah that's right the king baby yeah i'll keep this but this is going to be one of the ones I'm not putting in a bag. <laughs> I don't want to waste a bag on it. So He's going to get right in here. He might go the next round, though. Uh, another. <laughs> For somebody who hates free comic book days, I all of a sudden got a lot of, a lot of, a lot of them going on here. Uh, Tim Scully, Transformers versus G.I. Joe. Definitely keeping this. Yeah. Not, I like the old stuff. Not a huge fan of um, the comics, but we'll keep it. There we go. Another one. <laughs> Damn. My favorite thing is monsters. I'm definitely keeping this. I love the artwork in it. So it's just for that, I'm keeping it. Yeah, I'll open it up just in case you've never seen it before. So. Well worth the uh, if you can find this. Uh, some shops have the uh, free comic book day. They'll have like some of the older stuff. You know, try to pick it up if you can. But I mean, look at this stuff inside here. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, this is gone, my favorite. So we'll put that back there. Hopefully this is the last free comic book day thing book I have. <laughs> Gonna make a liar out of me if I got like a whole freaking short box full of them. <laughs> uh, the Dark Age. I remember reading this. And I thought it was alright, but uh, I think it's out of here. In the to-go pile. I never... I read that. I thought it was okay, but I don't... Yeah, just not... Looking for another series there. <laughs> Oh yeah, here's the uh, the first issue of Gingerbread Man. Yeah, it's in the to-go pile. Thank God. Getting some books out of here. A good cop called Tracy. 
believe these are reprints. Let me just talk and take a look real quick. Yeah, the Chester Gold, I think it's. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I believe these are yeah, from the comic strip. That's what they. Definitely uh, keeping that in my collection. What was it, the summer of 1990? Dick Tracy was like huge. Knit all the figures and stuff. <laughs> I remember going on vacation, buying, uh, what was it, Comics Values Monthly. And just reading through that price guide, reading the stories, because it, it had a big um, big spread about Dick Tracy, the villains and stuff like that. Uh, next up, the plot. Remember reading this? Uh, this is going into the GoPal. I thought it was good, but again, it's not, I want it in my collection. <laughs> uh, Red Sonja, another Jenny Frizen cover. Definitely keeping this. This is what I want to get signed, so I hope to meet her someday. Huge fan of her art, especially uh, her covers on Revival. If you remember that series from the, uh, let's see if I can find the, this was issue 10, so if you're looking for it. There we go. Oh yeah, some Mr. Monster stuff. So this is definitely stuff I'm keeping. I'll just go through these real quick. This almost looks like that Hulk cover. <laughs> I was supposed to meet Michael T. Gilbert this year, and uh, I'm not even showing half these, damn it. Here, let's go like this. So everybody gets it. Yeah, I was supposed to meet Michael T. Gilbert this year, but of course, with uh, COVID-19 and all that, we, um, they, they can't sell the con that he was coming to. I specifically requested for a Three Rivers Comic Con there, yeah. Went on their Facebook and uh, asked, you know, if possible, get, can you get this uh, this creator to come to Pittsburgh? I mean, I don't think he's ever, he may have been to Pittsburgh back in the early days, but I haven't seen him in here in a while. I mean, I got some stuff I want to get signed. I was hoping to get a sketch. Of course, all my dreams came uh, <laughs> crashing down with a, uh, that was from the Eclipse, and then I also got some of the Dark Horse stuff. Sorry about that. Better channel would it be editing that out, but <laughs> hey, yeah, you get what you pay for. <laughs> but then this is the dark horse. Um, Michael T. Gilbert there, Mr. Monster. This is like a thicker book, but I got a. Quite a, I think I got pretty much the whole collection somewhere around here. Like I, like I said, I'm going through these right now because I want the stuff together. And I want it organized. Uh, milk and cheese. Let me see if I got. I probably got another couple issues right here. Let me see. Yep. Thought I did. But this is the uh, special waiting <laughs> second printing. I always laugh at that. Of issue one. This is back in the day. We always. We were, you know, always looking for different stuff, and this is one of those books that was independent enough to be you know, cool, you know, but you know, still able to get it. It wasn't too underground. <laughs> if that makes any sense to you. Let's see here. All right, guys, I'm gonna think I'm gonna take a break here. I'm talking for almost what time? Let's see. Almost 40 minutes here, so I'll wait till the 40 minute mark and it'll be nice to upload this one and I'll start on the second one. Uh, but thanks again for watching. Uh, part two should be coming up shortly. Uh, hopefully, I'll put it tomorrow. I'm going to upload this on Friday night. Thanks for watching. Check out my Instagram, I'll leave a link down below. And I'll talk to you in, in 15 seconds. All right, <laughs> talk to you next time.